Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dexter McDexter. Welcome to a special holiday edition of the podcast. We're going to bring you Joe over here. We're going to bring you Pete. So sit back, relax, and here we go. Start the show. Oh, let's go. I'm going to start doing Joe. Get out. Go. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Sorry. Hello, Pete. Hey, man. What's up, Joe? Uh, nothing. Feel like we hadn't been uh, behind these mics in a long time. Hadn't been doing it. Hadn't been doing it. Feels good to be back in the booth. So, <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> right away, I want to bring up this because yeah. we were talking about this earlier, man. It cracks me up to think about it. <laughs> okay. Tell me about that story about when you lived out in the country and you heard a party going on next door. <laughs> so, what? <well, laughs> it had to have been like high school kids, right? Yeah. Just from what you would hear. But you couldn't see anything. Like it was just like a normal night. It was dark. You could see trees and the woods and the road and, you know, some houses off in the distance. Right, because it's out in the country. <clears throat> but every once in a while you'd hear these just loud parties where you would, I mean, I've been around crowds, man. I, I know how many, what a crowd sounds like. You, you know what I mean? You think it's kids having like a high school party kind of like, thing? Sometimes like big... it was like you could tell there was 10 people. Sometimes you could tell there was 30 people. Wow. But there was this one time, man, where it sounded like. Every kid in the Hunt freaking county was at this party. <laughs> because you would just hear these loud eruptions. Like, just, ah! <laughs> like excitement. a stadium full of people. Just going <laughs> but you couldn't see anything. Okay. But you would just hear crazy stuff, like, all the time, you know. Like, yeah. Just, you know, a lot of audible, unaudible, audible, audible, audible F word, you know. like. But this uh, one night, man, I was standing out there, and, uh, and uh, it was dark. And uh, the moon was lighting up the road, and you could hear the party going on. What were you doing out there? I used to smoke Black and Miles a lot Okay, out there. You just sitting out there smoking Black and Miles? Well, I'd walk around my backyard, but I'd quit walking around my backyard because the neighbor's cows kept getting back there, and one night they scared me to death. Mm. <laughs> so I was just, like, standing, like, in my, like, porch. It would, it would be like, terrifying to go in your backyard, and there's a cow. There was, like, five of them. It was horrifying. Oh, my gosh. And they're so big. All right. Yeah. Well, okay. So, you're out there. You're going to smoke a black and mild. Yeah. And I hear uh, I hear this. Rah, 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 rah. He was partying. Okay. You could, go, you could even hear it inside. Like, it was like I was telling Brady. I was like, man, you hear this? You know? They were getting raucous. Yeah, it was really rowdy. Okay. And then you started hearing this. Crystal. 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 And I just started dying laughing because I thought... What is going on where a thousand people are chanting this girl's name? Like, there is nothing that involves her keeping her clothes on right now. Right? That was going on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, like, and then it just kept going on, and then it, it stopped. And then, like, a little bit later, you hear, Crystal, a little louder. Okay. Crystal, 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 Crystal. And then whatever they were wanting Crystal to do. She did it because he got this. Crystal, crystal, crystal. Yeah! <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. That's funny. It man. was just like, man, <laughs> what, was she, what did she what do? Did, what did Crystal do? Uh, she got uh, that eruption of applause. Man, I think Crystal probably should have been grounded for whatever was going on at that party. <laughs> well, you, you know, you never know. Maybe she. Uh, <laughs> Maybe they dared her to lift a uh, Maybe they were doing a truth fall. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just believe in us, Crystal. You can do truth it. Fall. That's Just what was going on. You at that. Have the faith, Crystal. It will catch you. A field full of high school kids. That's what they were doing. It's on a Saturday night at <laughs> yeah. 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, trust fall. Crystal. Come on. Crystal. Believe in yourself and believe in us. Well, that was <laughs> funny, man. Crystal, Yes. What's funny too is like that was like the highlight of my weekend. Like I remember going back to work and be like, I gotta tell you about this crazy story. <laughs> kids are just gone. So you heard some kids chant some name. Uh, yeah, but man, what was going on? Uh, I remember the first time you told me that story. I thought it was a good story, man. Because <laughs> I'm with you. Like, what did she do? Yeah. <laughs> that got such what a was reaction. Going on? Oh, I mean, man. hopefully it was just breathing fire or a backflip on a trampoline. And not what your mind immediately goes to instead. <sighs> I have a feeling Crystal was. Yeah, having some shameful photographs taken. Of them. Well, that that could be. You know, parties, man. Things get wild. I've seen wild <laughs> things happen at parties. Welcome to Joe Ben's Wild Party. One. 
<laughs> that's what we'll call our uh, movie about the. It'll be like our version of House Party. Our version of House Party is Joe Ben's Wild Party. Yeah, like remember when you were in high school and I brought y'all all with. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I. Uh, well, that's the Crystal story. That's really good. That's good because that was at a party that you weren't even at, but mm. it was. <laughs> I was there in spirit, man. I could. I was listening. That's really funny. I've seen. Uh, I've seen people get punched at parties. Oh yeah. Um, I've seen some. I've seen some stuff go down. <laughs> so, one of the funniest things I ever saw was at an after party after one of our shows, and yep. we were at somebody's house, as we would do. Uh huh. And uh, everybody was smoking cigarettes, kind of out in this shed, like all, garage area that wasn't attached to the house. Uh huh. And I kept hearing this like uh, a. <sighs> I was like, do y'all hear that? And everybody was like, no, I don't, no, I don't hear what, you, what you're talking about. And I was like, okay, whatever. And so it was just me and like two other guys out there at the end. And I was like, dude, I think there are some people having sex on the other side. <laughs> Gross. Because you could just hear it. It was just, it was either cats fighting or people having sex. But so it way more like people having sex. So we all walk out there. And yeah, man. There was these two cats that worked at a... A guy and a girl. At first, I thought you were about to say it was two cats fighting. They were making love to each other in the dirt. Oh, my gosh. Just right outside in the dirt? And yelled at us to go away like we were doing something wrong. (laughs) And one of my friends was like, you're doing fucking in the dirt. (laughs) (laughs) What are you yelling at us for? (laughs) That's funny, man. That's crazy. But I did the bit the rest of the night. I I did like a sad bit the rest of the night. They were like, what's wrong? And I was like... That's what my music does to people. <laughs> That's funny. Makes you do it in the dirt at a party of somebody's house you don't know. Uh, one one time you and I were at an after party, and I watched you kick a hole in the wall. Uh, it's, I think you've told the story before, and I've still I can't. I mean, dispute the. I'll never forget it because you were just like, Meh, like you got fake mad about something. You know what? I remember this. You were putting on. You were doing that thing you do where you <laughs> pretended. That you were really mad about something. Okay. And then, so in your pretend rage, you kicked the wall and your foot just went right through it. Is this like when we first started playing those acoustic shows together, like in 2004? Like I had a house that had like hardwood mm, floors? Yeah. yeah. I kind of remember that. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think you might have dreamed it. No. No, man. Your foot went right through the wall, dude. Mm. I, I, I definitely remember that happening. Mm. I remember thinking, like, that's really funny that you committed yeah. to your bit. <laughs> that I'm so mad, and well, then you just kicked right through the wall. Like I said, I think that I was doing a bit where, like, I was pretend kicking it, and the pretend, pretend kick got away from me. Well, yeah, of course it did, man. You've got all sorts of stories about hurting people because your no. shit got away from you. No. Well, I love that story about Crystal. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. And Crystal, if you're out there, you want a free T-shirt. That's right. For being... <laughs> Being the podcast fan of the week. Crystal, if you are listening. Congratulations. Listen, Crystal, if you're listening, would you please tell us what was going on? And I would, and for an extra t-shirt, what in the hell was going on to wear? <laughs> That's two possible t-shirts for you, Crystal. <laughs> Your name was being hollered like that. I don't think nobody's ever done that to me. B, 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 B. No, I can't. I people, can't remember. People going, Pete. <laughs> Yeah, you've heard that a lot, huh? Hate. <laughs> That's funny, man. Oh my god. Well, what's up? What's up in Joe's world, man? Well, nothing too exciting, really. Um, All right, moving along. I mean, moving right along, really. <laughs> like I said, I mean, I hadn't, I hadn't been able to do a podcast in forever. Yeah, I mean, we had done in a while. Just been uh, playing lots of rock and roll just, shows. Yeah, we have been, man. Check oh, out the videos. Yeah, you can, uh, you can find them. Right here on YouTube. Right here on YouTube. Right here on YouTube. We have a possible uh we have a possible sponsor on the show. I think we should talk about this. Okay. I think we, it's interesting. Allowed to. I think we're allowed to. But basically, someone has approached us with possibly Oh really? Sorry, I didn't There's your old really moment, Crystal. Possible three T shirts. I thought about taking it off of the podcast and moving it to no cover. Because you moving know, no really to no cover. Yeah, we only get like fourteen views on the, these podcasts. That'd be that'd be a good way to go because <laughs> then we could get to a podcast without having to do O'Reilly's. Oh, 
Well, that's hurtful. Sorry, go ahead. Here's Joe with his story. Well, I think it's an interesting story. Because wow. we've been approached to possibly produce a little bit of music that might be used in like a like a commercial. <laughs> so that, like it was a question. Like, well, it kind of is. Because you know what? I hadn't told you this part yet. Yeah, I didn't understand what it was really. Well, apparently. See, I thought maybe it was like going to be a radio ad or something like that. Okay. You know what I mean? Or maybe something they use on... Uh, you know, local access commercial time uh-huh. or something like that. But I think instead it's like a internal commercial, like a, like just a thing that they make so that people in the company can see it. We're doing an office bullying situation. Yeah. It, I, I don't, this is all going to be about the office Dwight <laughs> and he's going to come get us. N- no, it's not that kind of a uh, song. You think so? would <laughs> So what I us to be like, can y'all write a song making fun of this dipshit? Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. No. It's like a real... He told me, They told me about it a little bit. They told me... Uh, they sent me the lyrics that they had written and everything. And uh, it'd be kind of like a parody. But it's apparently not for radio, not for internet, not for not for any outlet except for inside the company. Like... The company's making their own That's commercials for the other members of the company. That's what I'm saying. It's a this is a this is an inner office bit. <clears throat> well, no, I'm just, I, even if it is, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, I mean, it, yeah, it maybe. Oh, sorry. What do we got going on over there? I was gonna spread some holiday cheer, but the commercial ran out a bit. Oh well, I mean, good night, you everybody. Wanna, you wanna try it again? Well, I'm in the process. Should we set it up? Should I say, if anyone like this, wants right? to get behind some holiday cheer? There you go. Anyway, I thought we could just have that in the background. Just in the background? Make sure we got flagged. Well, okay. Maybe a flagged video will get more views. Okay. Maybe. Maybe people looking up this song will find our video. <laughs> like our most popular video. The Jefferson's the theme Jefferson's song. The Jefferson's theme yeah. song. That we recorded at the Corn Street Pub. The Jefferson's theme song is our most popular video because people look up the Jefferson's theme song and stumble across our video <laughs> accidentally. Who are these jabronis? That's very funny. That's, funny. That's why our next uh, our next song is going to be named what? Something like. Oh, uh, yeah, like um, something popular. Ryan's Toy Review. <laughs> Check out our new album, Ryan's Toy Review. <laughs> the, the other kid that plays with that's the chat. Funny. Oh man, that's really funny. Uh, Sports Center, our new song, Sports Center Top Ten. <laughs> I was telling him something the other day. I was like, you know what I did when I was a kid? Sometimes I'd like throw a rock at a house and then lie about it. <laughs> <laughs> I did that too. Well, you know, just to see if you could do it. Hey, how- what would happen? You know, Not, I didn't watch kids play with toys. Li- <laughs> kind of over that, but I used to do it all the time. Uh, listen, speaking of throwing I'm rocks. Listening. I'm listening, bro. That reminds me of a story of my childhood. All right. I'm going to have to change the names to keep people out of trouble. Boo. But <laughs> I think I'll just change your names. Okay, fine, I won't. Yeah, okay. So uh, my friend Raquel <laughs> was, uh, was staying the night at my house. And Raquel is a girl's name, so no, dude. This dude was uh, El Salvadorian. Down there, it's a man's name. Oh, okay, sorry. Anyway, I apologize to all the El Salvadorian people that maybe listening to this. Well, you didn't know. Thank um. You. Anyway, but he was staying down at my house, and like, man, he was all. Me and him would always get in some kind of stupid little trouble when he'd stay down at my house. Oh anyway, yeah. Anyway, so one night he wants to go out. And hang out with, like, the neighbors. Because I had some neighbors live across the street that we also knew from school. They are a little older than us, though, right? And uh, they were like, earlier that day we saw them outside. And they were like, hey, man, come over here tonight. Are you staying right over there at Joe's house? And he's like, yeah. He's, he was like, why don't y'all come out here tonight and, and we'll do something. And so he's like, okay, cool. And we're probably 12, something like that, 13. Mm-hmm. And so we go out of my window. We go over there. We meet them. And we're like, all right, what do y'all want to do? Because we think it's just cool to be out late outside of your house and nobody know. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, man, you got that adrenaline rush. Right. And he was like, y'all, y'all come with me. We're going to go throw some rocks. We're like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we can go throw some rocks, man. Come on. Yeah. So we were like, okay. <laughs> so. I found a dead body down here one time. <laughs> right. So we walk in the alleys behind our houses and get to the highway. Mm-hmm. And this is what they're doing. Every time they're they're getting rocks from the side of the road, and there's a pretty big ditch right there on mm-hmm. either side of the of the road right there. So they're getting down in the ditch, waiting for an eighteen wheeler to come by, popping up and pelting that sucker with rocks. Right? <laughs> Good way to get shot. Yeah. Now look. Oh, I did. Sorry. What are we doing here? I was gonna play a, "Come to My Window," but, but when you said it, and then sorry. Well, throwing rocks at trucks. So. We're throwing rocks at these 18 wheelers. <laughs> and so at first I throw a couple because I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. We pelt the trailer with these rocks and it makes a loud sound. That's funny. <laughs> okay. But then they start trying to throw them at the freaking windows. Dude, man. I was like, uh, no, nah, man. You get, you get big boy time for that. I was gone. I was like, yeah. no, nah, I'm not going to do that, man. I, I, I think I'm going to go back home. Mm-mm. And so. Good decision, Joe. Good decision. Rockwell. Was mm-hmm. like, uh, okay, cool, man. I, I, I'll be there soon. I'm gonna hang out a little longer and keep doing this. <laughs> okay, man. So I I make it home. Now I would just I just walk my ass home, right? It ain't that far, but I just stroll home, go back into my window, and then about five seconds later, here is bang, 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 bang on my window. <laughs> I'm like, what? And I look, and there's Rockwell. He's like, let me in, let me in. Well, apparently they got one of them suckers to to hit its mark, man. Oh man, dude! They broke some guy's window and just hook them out of there. Oh, Billy, how pissed would you be if you're just driving on the highway? Some little kid just threw a mm. freaking rock through your windshield. Man. I'd be extremely pissed. First of all, I know somebody who's got done time for that. <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard of that too. I think I heard and the story, dude. They didn't even do it. They were just there. So that's good on you for leaving. Well. I, well, I mean, listen, when we were hitting the trailers and it was just making a loud pop sound, it was kind of like, eh, okay, who cares if we throw a rock at the trailer? Yeah. But then they're like, let's try to hit the windows. I was like, I'm leaving. I was doing that with a train one time and I got a hobo. <laughs> it's right between his eyes, man. I like to say I wasn't trying to do it. But, mm. old, old boxcar Joe was you're just throwing, sitting there. When you're throwing rocks at trains when you're a kid and then you see a hobo sitting in one. You oh, try, so, you try to hit him. So you aimed right for him, huh? No, that didn't really happen. I bet you're the kind of guy that tries to hit the uh, the golf cart, uh, the, the ball picker upper. No. On the driving range. No. I could, first of all, I could never do that in a million years. <laughs> If I hit, first of all, if there's any ball picker uppers on a driving range that have ever been hit by me, that was an accident. <laughs> or maybe I was trying, but one time I was golfing with a friend of mine, and he hit up on these guys. He hit on it was seriously like four straight holes, because the golf course was kind of packed, and these guys were in front of us. And every time, like the first time it happened, it was like. Oh my God! No way you hit it right to those guys. Like, yeah, you know he felt like, oh, I'm so clear right now. And then he hit like the only shot that could possibly come close. And uh, we were both just like stunned about it. So next hole, he's like, okay, now I'm gonna let him get way down there, you know. And then so he waits till they're like on the next hole, and then he hits some kind of terrible like. Just like a slice, like he never ever does. <laughs> it goes straight to him, and he's just like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe it did this twice." So twice in a row, he's had to go up to these guys and go, "Hey man, sorry," and they're just like, "Oh no, don't worry about it, don't worry about it." Like twice in a row, they've been cool. He does it again, okay, on the next hole, and at this point, he is like scared. He's like freaking out. Like I, I don't understand how I'm hitting at these guys every single time I hit the ball. Like, I'm trying to wait till they are so gone. And then, so, we're on 18. No, no, no. We're on 17. So, he's he's tried to hit them on, like, 14, 15, 16. Now we're on 17. We tee off, and it goes into their direction again. And he was he just looked at me. He's like, dude, can we go? Can we just go? <laughs> it's like, all right, man. Let's just get off the course. We were playing like shit anyway, but. It was like, 
it, it, uh, if I was one of those guys by that fourth time, I would have had to been like, hey, man, what what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I have an altercation on that part three one time. Where we were like, you know, where it starts to come back around. And people started hitting at us. Hmm. And it was just about after the third time, I was like, all right. We just started hitting back at them. <laughs> and they're like, all right, man, chill. <laughs> Me and my little brother and some of his friends. Like, dude, I'm with a bunch of 12-year-olds right now, and I have no problem acting like a 12-year-old, so. Dude, okay. I, I I bet I know what happened in this story. No, they hit the ball at us. <sighs> And they did it again, and they did it again, and they were trying to get a reaction, and they got a, what I would call a reaction. So this old man accidentally... Two of them. Puts a slice. Nope. Probably yells four. No, he drove it, like, far to get to there. Like, it was a straight freaking shot. Yeah, this is a landlord He's being an man. asshole. Well, <clears throat> you all, you seem to draw confrontations to you somehow. No one is ever just openly an asshole to me for no reason. Not just a, like, crap like that. You know what? Uh, I'm going to tell the people right now that the... But I teed one up and sent it back at him. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> uh, the, I'm, I'm going to tell... Hey, all, man, you got to stand for something. Or you know what? What will happen? You'll fall for anything. Mm, that's a good point, man. That's we pretty write, deep. We should write a song that goes like that. That is pretty deep. Um, I want to tell all the listeners that the most incredible thing I've ever seen on a golf course was you. Thank you. And I think you've golfed a total of five times Thank in your you life. Well, more than that, but I told you, if I hit this shot, I'm never going to play golf again. And I've never played golf again after I hit that shot. Um, we used to record all night, and then we'd go play th- par three to see who would buy Pizza Hut. This was the most incredible thing. And it was come down to the last shot. And if I made this, like, 150-foot putt, you could you were going to win if you made. I would win, and uh, it was a putt from like the hole man. over. It and was so, so far away from the. I cup. said that if I make this, I will never play golf again. And what's crazy is and it I was, lined it up and I smacked it, and it just do 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 do, and then slowed down and just fell right in. It was up a crazy hill. <laughs> it went up a crazy hill, and then you had to like ride another hill. I was committed to winning. That was the craziest shot I've ever seen. And it must have been... Long way. Dude, it must have been like 25 yards at least. Yeah. It was, it was so insane. I never would do that again. No. No one. No one's ever going to do that again. I used to just lose balls in that. Because uh, there's like water next to it. Yeah. <laughs> I used to just lose all my balls in that. Right. It's like the end of the thing. I didn't care. And it, it's a steep It's a steep hill on every single side. It's like the only time it's been competitive when it came to the last hole with me. <laughs> Well, Dude, that. that was incredible. I, I'm, I've i thought to myself, oh, good, I found someone I can beat at golf. And I think all I had to do was just get, you know, where you were, I thought, oh, good, I'm going to have to, you know, I got like at least three putts to get this ball in because he's so far away. It's going to take him like five to get up here. Nope. He just knocked the shit out of it. And there it went. Right in, man. Just a Depth deep perception. Cup. Depth perception. It could That's not have been it. more perfect, man. It was like Happy Gilmore. Without all the extra sh- um, shit I figured on the course. golf's easy, so I just quit. Why would you need to play something? <laughs> right. that easy? You always bitch about the ball going in the thing. I just whack it, and it goes right in. And yeah. It's that's boring. It's boring, man. It's absolutely the truth. <laughs> that's the truth, man. You well, did. You know what they say about the truth? It, what hurt, it hurts. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if they really say that or who they really are. Um, Love hurts. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. I've heard that. Uh, uh, uh. And it scars. Yeah. And takes something. I don't remember. The, if you remember the lyrics, please put them down in the comment below. Yeah, you could win a t-shirt. You could. And remember, if your name is Crystal, and yeah. you know about our story, and you know what you did that <laughs> night, please let us know. I'd like for her to call in and be like, how dare you be talking about that night on here? <laughs> that's funny. Well, I mean... I think that's a great story. You're just sitting outside and you just hear, <laughs> Crystal, Crystal. And you're like, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, everybody erupts. There's more than a keg stand going on. Mm. That's pretty funny, man. I I think the last time I was at a party that went like wild and shit like that was, uh, 
and well, I was still in high school. But you know what? I got a kind of a funny story about one time I was in Mexico with my brother. Okay. And we're at a resort, and uh, we are drinking. We're we like run into these dudes from like Ireland that are at the resort. So you are in Mexico. I'm in Mexico with your brother. With my brother. Yeah. And you have run into some Irishmen. To some Irishmen. Okay. And uh, are you about to play another ad? No. Okay. Uh, so I'm not. So we run into these Irishmen, and they are drink. They're drinking all sorts of fun stuff, and they're like, so we make friends with them. We. This is background music. You're in Mexico. You're right. We are. So we're in Mexico. We're hanging out with these Irish guys, man. They're like, they're saying, "Oh, have you ever tried this drink? Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried that drink?" And so we just start drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. And so we're up with these Irish guys, and then so pretty soon, me and my brother are like just toasted, and we were, we're like, and you got to remember too. At this point, it's got to be, I don't know, sometime early in the morning. How old are you? 20, 20, which is plenty old enough to get wasted how old in Mexico. Are these, how old are these Irishmen that are trying to get in your pants? Um, they, I think you mean how old are the Irishmen that got in our pants? <laughs> uh, I don't remember There's how old they are, the but I'm, I'm like 20. And your mother's going to be very disappointed at the end of this story. Uh, she's probably heard it. <laughs> um, but... So, me and my brother, man, we're drunk. It's like 2 in the morning. And so, everything is shut down in the resort except for like one restaurant or something like that. You know, otherwise, it's all shut down. And so, my brother's like, hey, man, let's go swimming in the pool. (laughs) I was like, yeah, let's go. So, it's obviously closed. We like sneak into the pool. We think we're being real suave and like slick, you know. And so, uh, I... I kicked my brother while we were swimming <laughs> in the hand, and his ring flew off his finger. Oh, man. Somehow, drunkenly, we just stumbled across that ring at the bottom of the pool that night and found it. And that's that's the amazing part of the story is that we found the ring. But the funny part of the story was we're going to uh, we're in the pool, and we see, like, a security guard come out. And we're like, oh, shit, we go, we're, let's hide. Let's <laughs> hide from him. <laughs> and so... We we get up on the pool, uh, on the like deck, you know, the concrete deck around the pool, and we start army crawling. Oh man, like that's under, not comfortable under all the launcher. Yeah, but we're so drunk, we got no clue, mm-hmm. and we are just army crawling ourselves all across this concrete under these lawn chairs, thinking that we're sneaking under the lawn chairs and there's no way they can see us. So <laughs> after a few minutes of the guard just standing there watching us, <laughs> he just walks over to us. He's yeah, like, drunk uh, green girls. <laughs> He just walks over to us. He's like, uh, "Sirs, y'all can't be out here." Like, I wonder how long he just stood there and was like, "What are <laughs> probably y'all?" You, probably watched you crawl all the way across the thing, <laughs> right? Because we thought we were being real sneaky, but we were also pretty drunk. So Look at these stupid gringos. Well, what's funny is the next day we were both like just tore up on our chest and our stomachs and our elbows <laughs> and shit. <laughs> And we didn't even know it, man. We just woke up the next day like, oh, my God, look at, look at this giant road <laughs> What happened? Oh, yeah, we were crawling across the... <laughs> I know, man. It was a fun night, though. I mean, well, I'll give it that. Well, what do you think those Irishmen were there for? To kill somebody or they had killed somebody and they were there to hide out? Honestly, if I had to guess, I would guess they were on vacation. Mm, not very interesting for the <laughs> podcast, there, well, Joe. Well, but all right. You know what? Good I, for them. Good for them on taking a vacation. I'll tell you, I have another quick Mexico story. I was in Mexico a different time with another friend of mine. And this time we were young. We were like 16. I remember we were trying real hard to find a place that would service alcohol. But like the resort was like, no. Because they make you wear like a certain colored bracelet if you're underage, you know. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we're trying to get like score some bracelets and we just can't. But uh, so I'm, I had bought... At Walmart, this like seven dollar straw hat <laughs> for golf, because I had made the golf team that year. Congratulations! Thank you. And then so when I went to uh, to Mexico, I just took it with me, just a Walmart regular old straw hat. Um, and so this guy is at the resort and he goes, "Hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy." And I'm like, uh, "Yeah." 
He's like, hey, are you from Texas? I'm like, yeah. He goes, I knew it. That's a real cowboy hat, ain't it? That's a real cowboy hat, huh? Okay. Who, are we talking to another guest at the resort? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Just some dude. From like New Jersey? Or yeah. What were we doing there? Or Boston or okay. some New England. Okay, cool. I thought At first I thought we were talking to a Hispanic man that worked at the resort. And I thought, I don't, I don't know that you're nailing that. That might be my bad accent work. No, but that was good if it was just, you know, middle-aged man at, yeah. at he the was, resort. He, probably, he was probably like in his 30s, something like that, 40s. I don't okay. know. Okay, not important. Go ahead. And so... And he's just like, that's a real cowboy hat, ain't it? <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah. I got to have that. I was like, yeah. He said, I'll tell you what. Pay 50 bucks for it right now. So I said, yeah, oh, well, okay. And sold him that fucking Walmart $8 hat. He went home look at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look a real cowboy hat from a real cowboy got from this Texas. From a, a real cowboy from Texas. No, sir, you, yeah. didn't, you didn't meet a real cowboy. Right, I know, right? It had like a blue band on it, like a Hawaiian looking blue band around it. It was ridiculous. Look at here. Went to Mexico. <laughs> Met a real cowboy. It was all sorts of cowboys now. Told there. him, I said, I'll give you 50 bucks for that hat off your head. Boom. Sold Just like it to that. me. Boom. Just like <laughs> yeah. that. Boom. <laughs> Got this real cowboy hat. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> well, congratulations thank on your $50. You very much. Thank you and very making much. the golf team. And then, uh, thank you. But the sad part is that fifty dollars went quick because I let a I let a pushy salesman Uh-oh. talk me into buying like a like a weed pipe, and I had I was like thirteen. I had no <laughs> idea of how I would ever ever look, score weed. Look, I got a pipe. I know. He's like, oh, you you want this? You want this? I was like, no, no. He's like, no, no, no. It's a good price here. And he just hey. took my money. I was, like, yeah, okay. when I was in the eighth grade, and when you go to Washington D.C., we were at a mall. And me and my friends, like it's four or five guys, are walking, and this guy walks up behind us, and he grabs. I don't think it was me. He grabbed like our friend on the aisle. I'm not gonna grab you, but he grabs him by the elbow, and he's talking to all of us, kind of like he goes, "Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking." And I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> Pulls his sleeve up. Rolex, 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 Rolex. I mean, they're probably fake, but <laughs> keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. You want a time? You want a piece? You want a piece? You want a piece? Jeez. No nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. Please let me go. Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me like on TV. <laughs> I know what you I was in New York and felt the same way. Hey man, you want some socks? Oh my god. Please don't hurt me. The, my fondest my fondest memory of that trip though is when we first got there, a homeless man came into the bathroom. <laughs> That's what I thought you were talking and about. And started jacking off next to my teacher. <laughs> god. My teacher hit him. <laughs> This is going to be a fucking great trip, man. Teacher wasn't taking that shit. Oh, no. That was not the guy, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll tell you right now, he was... <laughs> I'm putting for that shit. It's a different time, boy. It's like he 1995. He, <laughs> he, thought, he thought he was going to come in there and get his jollies, and your teacher was like, mother... No. <laughs> not happening. Oh, man. Anyway. Yeah. Well, that's a good way to wrap it up, right? A little uh, <laughs> J.O. in the bathroom in front of some kids. <laughs> Always. Story. Almost dude J.O.'s in the bathroom and gets punched <laughs> by teacher. That is pretty good, man. All right, yeah. Let's do it. Let's get next train. Right, right, I'm glad we got here. another podcast in. Hey, man. Good show. Yeah, man. It's been about it had, its, it had its moments. Let's see here. All right, Dexter, get in here. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, have, have a good holiday, everybody. And uh, thank you for listening to the podcast. And uh, okay. Let's just... Let's just I don't know what you fellas think that I'm going to be involved in any of this anymore. Why y'all talk about things on here? I don't know. Merry Christmas, Dexter. Damn Christmas, nothing.